Yo, what is up everybody? It's Peace. I welcome to another video. We got fan favorite Jesse back on the channel. What did you do today? Uh, I went X1 and a 22 man locals with Red Dragon Archfiend. Oh, that is awesome. This deck is sick. Uh, let's, uh, let's see the spicy deck profile. Absolutely. I love these dudes. I was so I was using Dragon Link for so long. I was like, what's the most different deck I can use? <laughs> Dragons without a blue border. They're red. <laughs> so uh, we'll go for Soul Resonator. Play that at three. Uh, one card combo. Uh, Vision Resonator, this helps, and uh, using it can create 1.5 card combos. Um, I've got two of the Crimson Resonator. Uh, you can bump it up to three, it's personal preference. I don't think it's that crazy that you need to play three, though. I don't want to clog up on it. Uh, one Synchron Resonator and one Red Resonator for the Resonator lineup itself. Okay. Um, and no, this is not just a time card. You can summon other things off of your hand. Yeah, I mean, the, the name is Resonator. Exactly, so I have merit to play it. Uh, I love this guy. Him alone with a discard, he's a 1.5 card combo. Uh, what you end on is not crazy, but that's just what I love about him is once he's in the grave, uh, if they don't kill you next turn, he's still there and he can summon himself right back. So, uh, yeah, plenty of situations today where it was just like, they didn't kill me, I'm killing you. Uh, one Wandering King Wildwind. Of course. Uh, one Obsessive Uvalu. <laughs> Obsessive He's a very obsessive camel. Uh, one Archfiend Eccentric. <laughs> what? Why? This can be searched off of uh, Soul Resonator. So this what? isn't out to like oh, floodgates and stuff. Okay, nice. Yeah, uh, or just spell and trap removal, like going on a crackback. I searched this to just uh, trigger one of his face downs, and I'm glad I did, because like it would have hurt had it came later on in the turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then one Zalamander Catalyzer, just like Wild Wind's another uh, extender. Yes. Uh, but this can also get stuff in the grave like Archfiend, where it's just like, um, the cost might seem like you're just throwing away cards, but like if you're putting stuff you don't want, or you want in the grave, it's just like, yeah, he's great in the lineup. And that's I, I so think he's cool. so badass, it's like, that's why I want to play him. Yeah. Uh, then we've got your spells for our three. Consistency. Yeah, uh, sorry, let me put this one in front. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at me, I'm dedicated. It's a Resonator Call, it's uh, the, you know, Searcher for the deck. Uh, that technically makes it a one point, one card combo. Uh, same thing with this. This searches anything it mentions RDA from deck or grave. So a lot of times I'm uh, also grabbing these two cards back from the grave to just keep these online. Okay. This came up against Rescue Ace today, where I'm not playing the Phoenix Chain target for it, but uh, how this That'd works. That'd be so funny if you're playing Phoenix. I wanted to. I really <laughs> did, because I think it's a cool card, but it just doesn't do a whole lot. And then just one more of those, I think, is just cloggy for the deck. So Okay. Um, even though I do have the space for it, I just think Fiendish Golem on itself is alone. Or, like, alone is good, because wow, against okay. Rescue Ace, I was able to keep him out of using Turbulence. Uh, I still lost that game, but because it is 2,000 or more attack, I just kept banishing it before he had an op opportunity to keep bringing it back. And then, obviously, I can keep recycling this with my Crimson Gaia every turn. It's still on board, so... Okay. Yeah. Uh, it was a really nice addition today. I like the way it performed. Uh, under the hand traps, you got your three Ash, your three Nib, and then your three Imperm. Uh, okay. Nice. These are the only hand traps I'm playing. Okay, so uh, nine. In, so nine. Uh, I do have uh, stuff on the side, but um, instead of playing the Bestial package, I just decided I'd make it like generic but versatile today. Yeah. Foolish Burial is technically a one card combo because um, that can get you in a vision. Vision yes. grabs you, the Crimson Gaia, and then you're off to the races there. Yes. Uh, since it's hand trap format and you want to play through like Droll or Nash and stuff, call by. And then I play two cross out just for, I have the space for it. It's not na mandatory um, and it's not like I needed it today, but it did come up against a Vanquished Soul player where um, I just happened to side Droll against him and cross out oh, with the nice, hand. Oh, so, nice, nice. Uh, I killed him there. Uh, and then two tactics. Uh, this is another reason why I like cross out is because you are using monsters on their turn. Yes, uh, and you can just stop their talents. Exactly. Uh, is it the 40 in the main? 40 even. Yeah. All right, nice. So on to the extra deck. We've got three Red Rising. Um, I decided to go max out on this just for the grind game because okay. on turn one, you can end up making two. And then let's say they, you know, you're bored somehow there. Uh, obviously, turn three, you're going to want another one of these. Yes. Um, two of the Scar Red. Uh, crazy card because if they try to like nib you or something on it, that can still bring out uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, everybody knows what this guy does. Uh, one Scarlight. Uh, two of the Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. I love ending on this guy. I miss him. He's such a good card. Uh, one Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend Bane. I didn't summon this all day. It doesn't come up too often, but it's another mm -hmm. name. It's a level 10. Uh, one Supernova Dragon. Uh, I think I summoned this once today, but I didn't get to do, like, a whole banishing craziness. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then onto the Generic Dragons. We have the one Quee Belt. This is a level 7, so if they imperm your uh, Bone Archfiend when he's trying to modulate levels, this is your only target if you have uh, Soul Resonator on board with it. Okay. But on top of that, this is also good for just breaking boards because yes. this can target a card on the field once it's Synchro Summon to destroy it. 
uh, so it's just a generic pop. Um, and then on top of that, if this would like be destroyed or leaves the field by your opponent's card, it can uh, target one monster he controls. It can't attack, so it's like a Sky Striker East kind of. Wow, yeah. nice. So it's got it's got some use, and then uh, it did get me out of a couple of tight spots because. Um, at, there were certain points where I just couldn't summon the right resonators that I wanted to synchro climb, but I, I did have access to other tuners in hand, so I just went into him, didn't use his effect, but I climbed into, you know, Scar Red, and then from there I was uh, winning again. That's awesome. Wait, so uh, which set did he come from? Dune? The, yeah, this came from Dune. Shout this, out to Duelist Nexus, yeah, a common card. TCG exclusive, so <laughs> you know how it is. Um, one Beals, uh, it's the flex spot of the deck. Okay. This could easily be a uh, Tyrant Red Dragon if I owned it. Uh, I'm thinking of pick it up at uh, TGS. Oh Please yeah, shout out to TGS and yeah. Tenley, come visit us. I'll pick that up soon. But Beals is a great option. It's like a pseudo towers. Like it's still easy to get over with like a nightmare or something. But uh, can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. So yeah, that, so that's great. That's really good. Actually. And on top of that, if they like burn me, I'm gonna gain attack. So yes. Uh, and then obviously dispatter. Yes, you got play. It fits it. well into the deck. Yep, dragons. Dark dragons. Yeah, red dragons. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, new year, new me. So, we've got, and for the side, three forbidden droplets. Yep. Um, against play, people who played cross out, I just decided to swap my imperms with this since I thought this would be a less generic uh, thing to like expect. So, yes, uh, this, I agree. But this was just good breaking boards against the Rescue Ace player. Um, he had full set plus Baron and SP. And I had that evenly to clean up, so nice. these were a great combination together. Oh yeah! And the reason I like this for this deck is because, again, with cards like Bone Archfiend or Vision Resonator, the cost is only an advantage for you. So you're getting stuff engraved that either triggers its effects, or it didn't matter if it was engraved or hand anyway. You can still use it. And then here is the spice. Uh, <laughs> this is skill. Wow. You, I, I'm gonna give you some some, yeah. some crap for this yeah, one. Yeah. So the, the thought <laughs> like, process what? behind this is this is a floodgate for turn two when they're playing. Um, you've already set up your board, so you can either make the red supernova dragon, assuming they didn't like nib you or something. Yeah. Um, you can use that effect while that's gone. You flip skill drain, make sure they stay locked out of using monsters. Um, and, and your then, guys are huge. My guys are huge, so they're not getting over them. But on top of that, turn three for the crackback, if Bone Archfiend is still in Grave, um, you just use that send this to Grave for cost. Nice! Effects are back online. So okay, awesome. it's it's not a, it's not hard to play around at all. Yeah. Uh, three Droll. Um, I opened this nib and an imperm on my on a gold pride punk player game three. He was he was <laughs> so salty. Kyron. He's like lucky guy. He's like you got a starter. <laughs> And I was like, yep, and he called it there. Oh, uh, my God. I think you should have played that out, but whatever. <laughs> and then... Back row decks, we hate them. Breaking boards. I hate them. All right, awesome. So, uh, shout-outs to Team Quick Draw. Shout-outs to Timley Local. Shout-out to Patrick. Thanks for having me on the channel, as always. And uh, I really appreciate the deck profile. It was nice going uh, X1 with us. Congratulations, Jesse. Subscribe for more. Subscribe.